Okay. We finished the race, we had fun, and we didn't mess anybody else up, so total success. Congratulations, anybody but finish, because that's what pays out when we finish. Well done, Chris. Like that. Short debrief. We finished in P18. You end with one point four one gallon. Hmm. Okay. Start of the race. Pick girl. Set camera to chase. Chase camera. Pick girl. Filter markers by the current car. Showing markers for the current car. Okay, so let's see what happened to me. Because obviously that's who I care about the most. Oh, look, it's an undertake. I put that in as part of my debug logic. Um, we should never see really the undertakes when we're watching a replay and we're going through them because they always happen just after the overtake. So we'll see the overtakes, but the only time we'll see undertakes is when we're actually watching an individual driver. And then it is important to them that they got passed, right? So there's an overtake. Another overtake. Legitimate overtake. Although, kind of would have expected that one to have canceled it because he was going into the pits, but maybe he wasn't there yet. I'll go back and look at the replay for that one and see what his track surface data was. Uh, here we have an incident. Did we really have an incident? Where was the incident? Did I go off track? Oh yeah, a little bit there. Yeah, that could be it. And that's it. There's no more markers for me in the race. So let's go back to the beginning. Pit girl, clear the marker filters. Marker filters cleared. Pit girl, filter markers by overtake. Overtake markers selected. Okay, so now we'll only see overtakes. And hopefully they're all legitimate. We don't have any phantom freebie ones. If they fight for position and ultimately win, even if they don't hold on to it, but like that would be, as long as he was ahead for more than I think the threshold is two seconds, it considers it an overtake. But there can be like back and forth where they surrender it, but they still get the, the marker. Whew. Did that guy not touch him? Wow. That was like turning a gear. Yep. Congratulations anybody that finished, because that's what paid out. Well, interesting, the HTML is not what I would have expected. It's like wrapping the two things together when they should be separate tables. I'm going to have to investigate that. Oh. oh, that was somebody's name forcing it to wrap around. I'm going to have to debug that a little bit, too. Johan! So far, all these overtakes have been good. I don't know if it's been tossing out ones that were legitimate. 
accidentally. That's the other potential error case, but we've got so many that even if that's happening, it's not the worst thing in the world, but... And I love that we've got the position, the lap number, the car, all their na name data, their license. Historically, none of that information was available because as soon as you're not watching live, the telemetry data goes out the window. Overtake and an incident. Yeah, so far we haven't seen a single phantom overtake, right? This looks like a recipe for success. When in doubt, just push the other car ahead of you out of the way. Bonk. So who was this? That was Francisco. Yep. Yeah, but that's not, you know, I mean, getting sideways is not a death sentence offense, you know? Happens. Uh-oh. We'll do them at overtake. Had me scared for a second. Tony said something interesting last night. It's like his response when people complain about, you know, oh, I, I hit you because you broke too early. It's like, well, if my breaking early slows you down, then you're breaking too late. Which is true. It's part of racing with other people is having to take into account the unpredictable actions of the cars ahead. Otherwise, you should just do time trials. Okay, well, without looking at the data to see, because I should, I can actually have it log every time it fails. And we've only been seeing overtakes. Um, so. It hasn't been showing us the undertakes, which is good. Exactly. I'm you're you're a NPC, damn it. I'm the player character. All these guys are playing supporting roles in my race simulation. Some of these are pretty exciting. Oh, so this means he gets it back. Look at that.
Oh. Okay, but we are into lap five, so this is almost the end. Come on, I'll do Oh, and a third car coming into the mix. Wow, P2 does get it. Pretty awesome. Okay. So at first glance, I would call that success as far as blind programming, updating the logic without testing it extensively before putting it into use. Not recommended, by the way. 